Oh, excuse me. There's Charm telling the young man where he can find it. These air hostesses, or stewardesses, to give them their correct title, are hand-picked. Not necessarily for their beauty, but for their appearance and intelligence. Now take these girls we met at the airport, and who wouldn't give them the chance? They're different types, yet all have that underlying quality we've been looking for. From a hundred applicants, one may find perhaps two or three that fulfill the stringent requirements of the airline. High on that list is charm. We accepted an invitation from the girls to go down to Southampton and see them at work. Here's a typical party of travellers arriving by bus. A stewardess meets them and escorts them on their way to the waiting craft, which is berthed in a dock at the rear of the terminal. Children are her special care as she leads the party into the departure lounge and explains the mysteries of the various departments. Then, when all the formalities have been completed, the travellers collect to await the departure of the plane. The giant seaplane lies in a special dock in Southampton Water, alongside a floating pontoon. The crew are going aboard, so their departure won't be long now. Meanwhile, the stewardess puts the finishing touches to the cabin, because everything must be perfect. At last, all is ready, and the travellers walk through a short covered passageway to the dock, where they embark. As they go aboard, one thinks of faraway places and different peoples. Where are they going? What are they going to do? Well, lucky people anyway. All aboard, and the plane casts off, to be towed into midstream like a giant bird on the limpid water. The little tug forges ahead, while the crew start the motors and prepare for the takeoff. One can hardly call an aircraft charming. But it has a charm nonetheless, although a manufactured or contrived charm. Beyond it, the majestic decks of the Queen Mary tower above the surrounding wharfs. With the throttle wide open, she roars down the Solent at 90 miles an hour, and she's off and away. In the cabin, our friends settle down. All they have to do now is to sit back and relax, with our stewardess at their beck and call to satisfy their wants. A drink, perhaps, or a magazine. The aircraft has two decks, an upper and a lower. This is the upper deck, which is designed as a cocktail lounge. Here you may while away the time till lunch is served. Or perhaps at this altitude we should call it high tea. Below, on the lower deck, oh, pardon me, we seem to have walked into the ladies' powder room. Behind this are the dining cabins, where our stewardess will serve a full three-course meal. Not only does she serve it, but she does the cooking too, in the well-appointed galley, 